everybody, Cindy A. Lewis, and we are gonna make a baby's shower card. And if you saw my recent um, a DIY with the Dollar Tree uh, sunflower stickers, these jumbo stickers, and then my cordless marker airbrush, um, you'll know why this card is going with um, the same theme. But anyway, we're gonna utilize some fun uh, ribbons that I found. These were from Dollar Tree uh, sunflowers, and these are daisies, so I'm not sure uh, exactly, but I think I'll make a bow out of that. I am gonna use a card blank that I already have that is cut, and I don't have to score it or anything, so I'm just gonna fold that over and then accent it with my papers. So I have a cute little set um, of fall papers and this one is so pretty and I used it with my Be Long Together Dollar Tree journal for some of my uh, papers and dividers in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this and I'm going to put a little bit around um, here as a mat and then I'm going to take some letters that I had and these are little wood veneer letters and I'm going to go ahead and paint them with my marker airbrush and this little daisy here and give it some color. I'm going to cut out the daisy, probably this one, and put it as the background image here so that when you look through the window you see the daisy. And then my sentiment is going to come from this set of stamps from Crafter's Companion. So, uh, welcome to my channel. We're just jumping right into this card, and it's going to come uh, go together really super fast. I hope you like it. Subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family, and let's get going. First, I'm going to introduce you to the marker airbrush. It's a cordless uh, tool from We Are Memory Keepers. Um, it is an awesome tool, and it it is um, an, an airbrush machine that you charge with a USB cord, and it has special markers, not just any markers, although they might fit, they won't work with the sprayer, so these are spray markers. So I'm going to use the green, uh, the green, the yellow and the orange, and I'm going to paint um, these letters, these little wood veneer letters that I have. Okay, I'm going to paint these wood veneer letters with this cordless marker airbrush. The markers uh, do slide into this little channel here, and you just push this button for the motor to come on. I'll show you here really quick. Um, it's really easy to do. I use a little tool here with my tweezers to help me so I don't get painted as well. And it really, it really does the job quite well, you can see. Now I'm going to do the same with the letters, but I'm going to try to go for an ombre effect. Um, I'm going to start with yellow at the top and, and then I'm going to bring in the orange. So I'm just going to hold it with my tweezer and then just come in and go about that far down. And I'm going to do all the letters that way. And it doesn't take very long and it dries super fast. Super, super fast. And it doesn't give the, the paint effect, which I'd rather not have. All right, so now I'm going to take out the yellow and utilize this orange one. So for my flower, I just want to put a little orange in the center. Let me just zoom in just a little bit for you. You can see I've been working on my other project. All right, so I'm just going to do that. And you can see how pretty that is. And if you wanted more, you could do more. Now what I said I want to do with my letters is create sort of an ombre effect. So I'm going to come down from the bottom and then just 
come up like that. And you can see how that creates that effect. It's really, really pretty. And it's super easy. So there's the A for baby. This um, We Are Memory Keepers uh, marker airbrush. This cordless uh, little unit is amazing. And I've used it a number of times, especially with Dollar Tree items. And I love it. I love it on wood pieces. So um, if you have any questions about it, just let me know. Now I'm going to set these aside over here uh, until I'm ready for them. And what we need to do next is I'm going to um, take some of my paper here and I'm going to cut it out to fit as a mat onto this card. This card is, I think it's a four by six. Let me check that real quick. It is a five by seven. So I need to cut it in a little ways and then make sure my window is out of there. Okay, it changed my mind <laughs> of what I'm doing with this card because I decided to make it a shaker card. So I'm going to take some acetate and I'm going to put it on the inside. And so I'm going to glue that down, use some of this tape pen to glue it down. So um, this is a really strong tape pen. And I'm going to glue that down on the inside here of the card and I'm going to make sure I get glue all the way where I need it. All right. So then I'm going to take my acetate, which I cut just a little smaller and just rub that in for my window. All right. So now you can see uh, that that acetate's in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, um, foam that's on a roll and I'm going to just put it in here and then I'm going to cut it all around the edges so that you can see it is going to be the barrier to keep all the sequins and everything inside the window and you need it all the way up to the previous piece of the, the foam, or you can just uh, make it, it depends. And I may go over it one more time. Let's see, because I'm gonna put the baby in there. So the letters, so I'm gonna take this off and put another layer of the foam pad on there. All right. so really in the basic thing is you're just going to add another layer. All right, once you have uh, your double layer foam down, you just pull off the the little piece um, for your protection, protective, protecting the adhesive. And then you're going to put inside that window your sequins, whatever you want to be the shaker. Okay. So this is an interactive card, right? And we're gonna put baby inside there. So, all right, make sure I got it all. Now you do wanna be careful. So I'm gonna take baby and put it in here like this, okay? Then I've got some sequins here that I'm gonna put in. So Dollar Tree has this great confetti. This is summer, and so one of the little pieces is this cool, these cool oranges, and all right. So that's what I want inside my shaker. Now I'm gonna take my piece of scrapbook paper that I want to be in there and have to make sure it's not upside down, so. It goes this way, I think. All right, so I'm gonna put it right down. Make sure it's in the right place. And if it's upside down, we'll just have to cut it out and redo it, I guess. 
All right, so voila, baby. Is that the coolest thing? I love it. What I want to do is, here's a place that I can write, but I still do want my sunflower in here because it goes with the rest of my uh, decor piece, my gift. So I'm just gonna cut out this sunflower here and um, then I'm gonna put it in the center there and I'm gonna do my sentiment. All right, so I've cut out my Dollar Tree sunflower and I'm just gonna put it here in the center like this. And when you open that sticker, you, you can see the shaker card. So there's baby in there. All right, just about done. Have my bow here. I put my yellow flower on. I'm just gonna use a little glue to put that on and put that right here. You can see I put my ribbon here on the card. Here we go. And I love this shaker, <laughs> just, just love it. All right, so I have my sentiment here, and I, I really think even though the bow's at the top, that's so that you can see baby down there. We're gonna put this up at the top, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use my tape pen for that. I did already create this, so I could make it a little speedier, and just got my sentiment up here, and so we have welcome baby and just a really nice thing in there with the sunflower and then I'm just gonna sign it on the inside behind there. So really fun card to make, super easy and you know, you can of course do it however you want. Um, you, I had the card already and just put it all together. So I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.